sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, who forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You who are lived on the cross voluntarily, O Christ your God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you. Peace is their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and unshameable protection of good and praise of the Theotokos, do not despise our petitions, make firm the community of the Orthodox, save those whom you have called to rule, grant them victory from heaven. For you give our to God and are truly blessed. Mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. And we pray for all pious and Orthodox Christians. And we pray for Archbishop Alexios and our brotherhood in Christ. For you are a merciful and loving God, and you we Give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, and consubstantial, and life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, <clears throat> and ever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. <clears throat> o Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me, and many say unto my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I lay me down and slept, I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, the Lord, and save me, O oh my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I lay me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. <clears throat> o Lord, rebuke not of thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened in me, and, <clears throat> and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For my iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden, and they press heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire. My groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled. My strength that failed me, the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw nigh over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought out to my soul used violence, and they that sought evil from me spake many things, and craftiness is all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that, that opened not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and I have this mouth no reproach. For in me have I helped the Lord uh, that will hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I say, let never mine enemies grow so from me, yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spoke boastful words against me. I am ready for scourgings, and my sorrows continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. And if my enemies live, and I am made stronger than I, and that I hate me, I am justly multiplied. Then you are to be evil for good slander me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul I first before thee hopped unto my flesh, long after thee in the land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary, if I appear before thee, to their power and thy glory, then mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness, let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing, my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, and meditate on thee. For thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand has been quick to help me. And, and, but as for these, in, <coughs> in vain they sought out my soul, they shall go into the middle of the earth, they shall be surrendered under the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But a king should be glad in God, and one should be praised and swear by him, for the mouth of them is stopped to speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear into my supplication. O Lord, for my soul is full of sorrows in my life, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit, and I am, helpless. I am a helpless man, free among the dead, like the slain man thrown and sleeping in the grave whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Your wrath, your wrath rested he upon me, and you brought, me, brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me, and you made me an abomination unto themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O Lord, I cry to thee the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will the physicians raise them up to and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn your, away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They encompassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, and climb your ear, ear into my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged. He made his ways known to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns his mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so, far, so he removes our transgressions from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows he, how he formed us, he remembered we are just. As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes up through it, and there it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him and his righteousness upon children's children, who such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you, his angels, mighty and strength, that who do his word to you, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, O you, his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, O you, his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord from my soul. Let us pray. 
is and for the oneness of all let us pray to the Lord this holy house and all in truth faith reverence and godly fear let us pray to the Lord for our Archbishop Alexios the honorable priest of the deacons in Christ all the clergy and the people let us pray to the Lord for our country the president all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, this city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful time, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. We may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Del Tocos and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Our give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name.
O God, by your grace. Celebrating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. Yours is the dominion, and yours the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Looking up at the entrance to the sepulchre, then unable to endure the angel's radiance, the barbaric women were frightened and perplexed. They said, Has he been stolen who opened paradise to the robber? Has he arisen who before his passion Announced his rising. Indeed, Christ God has truly risen, granting life and resurrection to those in the netherworld. To the glory the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, by your voluntary will, O Savior, you enter the cross.
glorified in his mystically uplifted and brightened by the triune God. Amen. Yeah. 
to pour out a good word to the Queen and Mother of God. I will celebrate her feast with joy and gladness, and sing to her joyfully, lauding her miracles.
teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Righteousness with offerings and over offerings. 
Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Lord, in wisdom you have made them all. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, Lord my God, you are very great. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's epistle to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, even though when God made a promise to Abraham, since he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless and multiply you. Thus, having patiently endured, Abraham obtained the promise. For humans indeed swear by someone greater, and in every dispute they have, the oath is final to get things settled. In this way, being determined to show more abundantly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable nature of his purpose, God intervened with an oath. And so by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, May we have a strong encouragement, since we have sought refuge and taken hold of the hope set before us. We have this hope as an anchor of the soul, a hope which is both sure and solid. It reaches beyond the veil, where Jesus has entered as a forerunner, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Peace be with you, the reader. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. That time a man came to Jesus kneeling and saying, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit. And wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him, and when the spirit saw him, Immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has he had this? And he said, From childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if, we can, if, if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can... All things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out. And the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee, and he would not have anyone know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, 
and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days, he will rise. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. By your power we may give glory to you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I hear. Receive. Receive.
servants of your new covenant and ministers of your holy mysteries. Accept us as we draw near to your holy altar according to the multitude of your mercy that we may be worthy to offer you this spiritual sacrifice without the shedding of blood for our sins and for the transgressions of the people. Grant that have accepted this sacrifice upon your holy heaven and spiritual altars and all your spiritual fragrance. You may in return send down upon us the grace of your Holy Spirit, look upon us, O God, and consider our worship and accept it as your accepted as you accepted the gifts of Abel, the sacrifices of Noah, the burnt offerings of Abraham, the priestly offices of Moses and Aaron, and the peace offerings of Samuel, as you accepted this true worship from your holy apostles, accept also in your goodness, O Lord, these gifts from the hands of us sinners that being deemed worthy to serve at your holy altar without blame that may have changed reward of the faithful stewards of the fear, on the fearful day of your just judgment. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the great God and Savior of our hope, 
the image of your goodness, the true seal of revealing in himself you, the Father. He is the living word, the true God, eternal wisdom, life, sanctification, power, and the true light. Through him, the Holy Spirit was manifested, the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of our future inheritance, the first fruits of eternal blessings, the life of the life-giving power, the source of sanctification, through whom every rational and spiritual creature is made capable of worshiping you and giving you eternal glorification for all things are subject to you, where you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly crying out to one another with unceasing voices and ever-resounding praises. Singing the victory and proclaiming, crying out and saying, <laughs> Tu 
Perion, Cipron, Echinon, and them. He saw to see the Martion, gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Peace to her which you have obtained with the precious blood of your Christ. Strengthen also this holy house to the end of the ages. Remember, Lord, those who have brought you these gifts and for whom and through whom and the intentions for which they were offered. Remember, Lord, those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches and those who remember the poor. Remember them with your rich and heavenly gifts. Grant them in return for earthly things, heavenly gifts for temporal, eternal, for corruptible, incorruptible. Remember, Lord, those who are in the deserts, on mountains, in caverns, and in the chambers of the earth. Remember, Lord, those living in chastity and godliness and asceticism and holiness of life. Remember, Lord, this country and all those in public service whom 
you have allowed to govern on earth. Grant them profound and lasting peace. Speak to their hearts good things concerning your church and all your people, that through the faithful conduct of their duties we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Sustain the good in their goodness. Make the wicked good through your goodness. Remember, the Lord, the people here presented and those who are absent with good cause. Have mercy on them and on us according to the multitude of your mercy. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants. Instruct the youth. Strengthen the aged. Give courage to the faint-hearted. Re reunite those separated. Bring back those in error and unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Liberate the captives. Heal the sick. Remember, Lord, those who are in mines, in exile, in harsh labor, and those in every kind of affliction, necessity, or distress. Those who entreat your loving kindness. Those who love us and those who hate us. Those who have asked us to pray for them, unworthy though we may be. Remember, Lord our God, all your people, and pour out your rich mercy upon them, granting them their petitions for salvation. Remember, O oh God, all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of their multitude, since you know the name and age of each, even from their mother's womb. For you, Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, and the physician of the sick. Be all things to all, you who know each person, his request, his household, and his need. Deliver this community and city, O Lord, in every city and town, from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, remember, Lord, Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years. Rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember, Lord, my unworthiness according to the multitude of your mercies. Forgive my every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Do not take away the grace of your Holy Spirit from these gifts presented because of my sins. Remember, Lord, the presbyters, the diaconate in Christ, and every order of the clergy. And do not confound any of us who stand about your holy altar. Visit us with your goodness. Lord, manifest yourself to us through your rich compassion. Grant us seasonable weather and fruitful seasons. Send gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit. Bless the crown of the year of your goodness. Prevent schism in the church. Pacify the raging of the heathen. Quickly stop the uprisings of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Receive us all into your kingdom. Declare us to be sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love. Lord our God, for you have given all things to us. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. Precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our loving God who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance may in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Great for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Oh, you, O oh Lord. Sit down and still do for us. You are... Our God, who has accepted these gifts, cleanse us from every defilement of the flesh and spirit and teach us how to live in holiness by your fear so that receiving the portion of your holy gifts with a clear conscience we may be united with the holy body and blood of your Christ, having received them worthily 
May we have Christ dwelling in our hearts, and may we become the temple of your Holy Spirit. Yes, our God, let none of us be guilty before these your awesome and heavenly mysteries, nor be infirm in body and soul by partaking of them unworthily, but enable us even up to our last breath to receive a portion of your holy gifts worthily as provision for eternal life and as an acceptable defense at the awesome judgment seat of your Christ, so that we also, together with all the saints who through the ages have pleased you, and may become partakers of your eternal good things, which you, Lord, have prepared for those who love you. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to may dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Pate limon, o endis uranis, aia situ tonomasu, el fedui vasiliasu, yenihitu to felimasu, o sen urano ke pitigis, ton arton imon ton epiusion, dos imin simeron, ke afis iminta o filimata imon, ως και ημίς αφήμεν σ' οπηλέτες ημών, και ημίς εν έγγις ημάς της πειρασμών, αβαρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού. Ο Τσενάς. kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all and with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who bow their heads to you. Distance them from every evil deed, lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your most pure and life giving mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. For the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive the holy gifts for the holy people of God.
Servant of God, receives my first body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for his sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives my first body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for his sins and life everlasting. The handmaid of God receives my precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for his sins and life everlasting. Amen. The handmaid of God. Receives my precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior. Take it, take it with your lips. Thank you. Mercy of sins and life everlasting. I mean, the handmaid of God receives my precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Mercy of sins and life everlasting. Both of us to the ill. Metal and body to some extent to him. I took it to you off so I can own KC. My own means. Serving God. Prayer receives the blessing of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The handmaid of God receives my precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ from his sins and life of the Lord God and Savior Jesus The handmaid of God again receives the blessing of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The handmaid of God receives the blessing of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The handmaid of God. Receives my precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, from our sins and life everlasting. Amen. The handmaid of God receives my precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, from our sins. The handmaid of God receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The handmaid of God receives my precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, from our sins and life everlasting. The handmaid of God. Receives in the precious blood and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ from his sins and life everlasting. So we got come to receive the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. So we got one receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. So we got us just receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. And we got him receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. So we got Jose receives the blessing 
of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the handmaid of God, who receives it on your chin. Receives my pleasure, body, and take it with your blood. The servant of God receives my precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Permission of sins and life everlasting. The servant of God can have receives a blessing of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives my precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Permission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. The servant of God. Receives my perfect body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, permission of sins and life everlasting. The handmaid of God receives my perfect body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, permission of sins and life everlasting. The handmaid of God receives my perfect body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, permission of sins and life everlasting. The handmaid of God who receives the blessing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Serving God, Dylan receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Serving God, Wine receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The hand of God yes. receives the precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. From which the sins and life everlasting. The hand of God, Mighty Lamb, receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Chance, receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. What's your name? The servant of God, Brandon, receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Kenton, receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The handmaid of God, Kenton, receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The handmaid of God, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The first of sins and life everlasting. The handmaid of God, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Nathan receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Servant of Cameron receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Servant of God receives my precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. From the sins and life everlasting. And Servant of God receives my precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. From the sins and life everlasting. Servant of God's spirit receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Servant of God Michael receives the blessing of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The handmaid of God, Catherine, receives the most precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ from his sins and life everlasting. Amen. The handmaid of God receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Servant of God, the, the Asotheos receives the blessing of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. And may God Brandy receives the blessing of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. And may God Anna receives the blessing of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives much precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Permission of sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives my precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for of sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives my precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for of sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives my precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for of sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives my precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ Permission of sins and life everlasting. Lord God, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided.
exalted are God among the heavens, let your glory be with all the earth. Exalted are God among the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. Exalted are God among the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God. Always now and forever and to the ages of ages. Aristarchus, Poons, 
and Trophimus, the apostles, and of the seventy, Thelmaeus, the martyr of Alexandria, Adalion, the actor and martyr, Demetrius, the new martyr of Arcadia, whose memory and commemorate Saturday, which will take place, which will take place in Peachtree City. So at this time, I'd like to invite Liam to come up. Liam is a human, but if he wins at the next level, he can't go on to the Metropolis level till he's Orthodox. But thanks. God, by then he'll be over that. So, <laughs> no problem. No problem. So obviously he's going to win our level of competition because he's the only one, but the judges are here to help him to improve so that he can go to the next level. simple elements of the bread and the wine by mystically becoming the body and blood of Christ through the work of the Holy Spirit during the divine liturgy holding them the power of salvation regeneration and the remission of sins for the Orthodox Christians by uniting us to Christ through the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. To understand the significance of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, let us look at the history of the ritual sacrifices the Jews performed in the Old Testament. The Jews would slaughter lambs, rams, and bulls and other animals as sin offerings. The animal's blood would be sprinkled on an altar, and a portion of the meat would be burned so the smell would rise up to God, which was pleasing to him. Those animal sacrifices would carry the burden of the Jews' sins to be forgiven by God. As the Jews, like us, were sinners, they were not worthy of the gifts, love, or grace of God. So God established a sacrificial system for them that involved the continual shedding of blood. This, along with the law of Moses, was the Old Covenant. God, with his love for his creation, sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to earth. Born of a virgin, Jesus lived a sinless life on earth. 
No longer were animal sacrifices necessary once Jesus willingly died on the cross. Jesus' death on the cross took him to hell, where he destroyed the gates of hell, conquering death's power over life, thereby becoming the ultimate and perfect sacrifice. In preparation for his death and resurrection, Christ established the new covenant by instituting the Eucharist during the Last Supper, where he spoke the word, the words as recorded in Matthew chapter 6, verse 26 through 28. Take, eat, this is my body, concerning the bread that was broken, and concerning the cup of wine. Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many of the remission of sins. The new covenant of worship now consists of the faithful Participate, the faithful participating in the prayers of the divine liturgy and partaking of the Holy Communion. After the words of Christ are spoken, the elements of the bread and the wine are presented to God and consecrated by the Holy Spirit. The bread is broken and the wine is poured. Both the bread and the wine are blessed by the priest. Then the devoted are invited up to receive the body and blood of Christ and partake in the divine nature of his life. This is what, as Orthodox Christians call it, the Holy Eucharist, and is the very heart of our spiritual lives. The Eucharist, by, definite, by, definite, by definition, means to give thanks. When we consume communion, we receive the salvation from death, regeneration from corruption in body and spirit, as well as remission of sins. This is a remembrance of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross but it is also the means by which we are able to strengthen our bond with Christ and endure the spiritual and physical struggle of this life as we await his return. Because of this, we are frequently offered the opportunity to partake in communion. The significance of Jesus' personal sacrifice and his willingness to be crucified for the sake of all is that we as Christians no longer have to partake in the animal sacrifices but rather by partaking in the ordinary gifts of bread and wine, which are offered up for consecration, we receive extraordinary healing from God. We receive within us Christ Jesus himself, the bread of life. For the Orthodox Church, this is a great and precious mystery. As St. Cyril of Alexandria puts it, he has given us his own body and blood, that we might, that might ruin the power of decay. And for without the presence of Christ, salvation from death is not possible. And humanity is unable to be free, to be freed from sin, which dwells along with us in this life. He dwells with us in our souls through the Holy Spirit, and we become sharers in holiness, heavenly people, and spiritual name bearers. send you off with our blessing to represent St. Philip well, and I think you will. So, thank you for coming. We <laughs> welcome our guests that are with us today. We had an engagement party. We had somebody over here. Who are our guests from over here? Raise your hand. There they are. Sandra and the son, Juan, and everybody. <coughs> and grandmothers are here with us, and so today we have uh, F team is going to be serving uh, our, us lunch today. So we'll get together and break bread together and greet you properly. Um, also, we have the services this week. We have pre-sanctified liturgy on Wednesday. We have the Canon of Saint Andrew, which begins at seven o'clock on Thursday. And then the last acathist uh, of this period will be on Friday. 
Uh, following that, we're going to have a meeting of the uh, Council of Ministries uh, Sacramental and Liturgical Group uh, that will include the choir, the acolytes, uh, the chanters, and we're going to get together and talk about the upcoming Holy Week because Saturday we're going to be receiving around 20 people into the Orthodox Church, which is a miracle. So that's a, a great joy, and we want to be ready so that we can celebrate Holy Week properly. Um, and there will be this year, for the we discussed a couple of weeks ago, the Pasca Committee is going to be hosting a luncheon, and it will be, uh, we'll have tickets for that. So you have to buy tickets in advance, you have to RSVP. Uh, it will be subsidized because the parish usually offers lamb and chicken, but instead they're going to subsidize and the lunch will be catered. So you'll, there will be a sign up on the uh, parish website for that and we'll send out an announcement this week. Also, Easter bread, uh, Judaica, we can order that online as well. That's already up if you'd like Judaica for your Easter table. It's beautiful sweet bread that's traditional this time of year and they will be baking that on Saturday of Lazarus, if you want to participate in that as well. OCF will have their last meeting of the year. We'll elect officers for next year. We'll be here at the church at 6.30 on Tuesday. And uh, then the stewardship committee of the, uh, of the Council of Ministries will have their meeting today. We'll depart from here at 3.30 to drive up to Leanne's uh, for a wrap-up of this section that we've been working on. And then, of course, the parish council meets this week. And then the, today, the vacation church school will meet after the luncheon. If you're participating in that, please join us. Um, that should do it. Any other announcements? Yeah. Yeah. Any other announcements? Yeah. Uh, yes, there should be at that meeting. Yeah, greeters as well. That'd be great. Thank you. Because we have to make sure we have all our ducks in a row, so it's a seamless celebration. Come from Gidero and uh, <coughs> Thank you. 